Street Gala for Farm Sanctuary. They've been doing such great work advocating for animals and rescuing animals for 25 years. And it's a lot of fun. It's going to be a star-studded event with lots of great vegan eats. And it's actually at the end, uh, Jean Bauer, the co-founder and president of Farm Sanctuary, started this organization as a volunteer organization selling veggie hot dogs out of his VW van at Grateful Dead concerts. So he's going to actually take off at the end of in the evening in his VW van, and he's going to take off on a tour called the Just Eats Tour. And he's going to go across the country, and he's going to be visiting the places that inspired Farm Sanctuary and all of that. So it's going to be documentary once he finishes. I'm really looking forward to tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is a beautiful red carpet area upstairs, and people are behind taking pictures of celebrities. We're going to talk to some of them when they come around. And they're going around already with hors d'oeuvres, but I have to do some interviews, so I can't really eat any, like, pigs in a blanket, I think is what they had, like the veggie hot dogs. Of course, um, like the real pigs are in a blanket up at Farm Sanctuary. So we're here. And you look fabulous. So I think you're a tremendous <laughs> advocate for a vegan and vegetarian lifestyle because it's important to look good, and we're not all crunchy granola walking around in Birkenstock. Yes, it's a healthier lifestyle. Look, I just love them, they, and they go with my, my black suit, and That's they're quite Totally fabulous. Yeah, Are they right. vegan? Uh, oh, absolutely. Dahlia gowns, um, they have nearly all vegan dresses, and they're red carpet ready, and they're really gorgeous, not made with, with self. And every time when you're a vegan, and you know what, it's a big investment in health and well-being for us, and for the planet, and for the animals, too really push consciousness of factory farming and what was really going on. These guys really were instrumental in that and then passing the legislation they did. I felt like they really, you know, put their rubber to the road. And so few people actually know where their food comes from. If people didn't eat animals, they couldn't justify all the other stuff they do to them. It's because it's so emotional for us, that food. It's much more than sustenance. The important thing is that animals must be treated uh, well, animals can't talk for themselves. They can't. Animals don't pick it. They don't phone radio stations. They don't uh, have slogans. Some, someone has to stand up. In fact, they have a sanctuary where people who have never been on a farm can go and see these breathly, living, breathing animals with their families. You know, doing what what animals do. Um, I just take my hat off to them. I mean, we look at animals like uh, commodities, like um, a piece of a machinery, and they're living, sentient beings. And so, because of that, you know, um, animals are just not meant to be part of business. Go veggie! We're going to be serving our porcini Dijon cutlet tonight uh, with just a smattering of uh, Daya vegan cheese with some tomato sauce. We have a uh, frankfurter in a blanket. When you look into the eyes of an animal and see that they have feelings like other animals and that they want to live, you know, and they don't want to be abused. So people are pretty aware and educated on what goes on, especially with the slaughterhouses and uh, how these animals are treated. I wanted to develop, obviously, a coat line that was cruelty-free, and wool, a lot of people just don't realize how, how cruel of a process it is. They're one of the most amazing organizations in that not only do they educate and provide amazing PR for animals. They actually physically rescue animals and you can go visit them. That the level of a civilization is judged by how we treat the helpless and the voiceless. And Gene Bauer is one of my heroes. Farm Sanctuary is an incredible organization. At the end of the day, you know, everything that we've done up until this point in history is developed and happened because of change. Because even though it's hard, because resistance and change is uncomfortable. However, once we do it, we get to the other side, we feel better. Once you meet them, you can't eat them. This is my saying tonight. I've, I've found, I thought of it the other day and I'm like, you know what, this is a good thing. I think that's so true. Once you meet them, you can't eat them. Oh, that's definitely true. That's good, I like that. When you meet them, you can't eat them. You can't wear them either. And with Farm Sanctuary, we will continue to operate our shelters, encourage people to come visit and connect with the animals. Um, we will encourage people across the country to make more thoughtful and mindful food choices and we'll continue working on laws to ban some of the worst abuses. So it's a lot of things still going on, but we're making enormous progress. Yeah.